Hey guys, welcome back to Mass Effect 2 playthrough. Just to pick up where we left off, finished with the uh, second part of the Sins of the Fathers um, missions. We're going to do the third part of the Sins of the Fathers missions. Um, we're going to go help Miranda out. So, let's go do that. Um, no messages for you, Commander. Just a quick recap on Miranda's mission. Um, Miranda has a sister that, um, so, so, a little more backstory, um, Miranda is genetically engineered from her father's DNA, um, her, and she has a sister who is the exact same as, you know, her, a twin sister that she's kept hidden from her father, um, so, we're going to go deal We're gonna go help her sister, because her father discovered where her sister is. So we're gonna go help Miranda protect her sister. And that would be on the planet of Liam. And I think actually when we land here, but there's gonna be a few side missions that will kind of like automatically complete for us as we go in. Because of some stuff we did last time we were on Ilium. But anyway. Um, so we'll bring Tally and Miranda with us. Uh, first, let's get you set to your loyalty outfit. And then let's go. Excuse me, my sources indicate you were in a warehouse recently. Did you by any chance forward a questionable shipping note to a Mr. Thax? I did. It looked suspicious, so I passed it on. I'm a representative for Mr. Thax. He's very grateful to you. Please accept this as a gift for bringing the shipping irregularities to his attention. What happens to the shipping agent who is cheating Thax? That depends on how sincere her apology is, and how willing she is to correct her mistake. Well it was my pleasure. Spoken, uh... Have a pleasant day. It's very well spoken, Krogan. I have a message for Miss Lawson. Lantea has reserved a room at Eternity and will be waiting. Thank you, Edie. Alright. Hungry? Then come to the fish dog food shack. Tasty fare and skewers are just five credits for a limited time only. Four no, you don't understand. I lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. It can't be replaced. It's a token from my bond mate. It's the only are you shorting prefabs? So that is a side quest we will do while helping Miranda. But we're gonna go talk to Miranda's contact first. If this is the best you have, I'll make do. But you're certain the new Ilium sees many human refugees, terminus orphans, and former slaves abandoned by Batarian raiders. Figure something out. Stop worrying. It's okay. I'll think of something. You said synthetic insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assumed they would want an AI tech. Hello. Can I help you with something? I need you to let that slave go. Hmm. Now. We prefer the term indentured servant. And I know that Batarian slavers have made humans understandably prejudiced against slavery. Before There's you do a lot anything, more than know that. that this Quarian signed the agreement voluntarily, and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the Quarian, convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. The Batarians are the only so reason they says, are, uh... Can I help you with something? I know a slaver who'd like to sell you the service contract for a Quarian programmer. A lot more. Synthetic to the Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. Understandable. But it sounds like Synthetic Insights is worried about its reputation. Hiring this Quarian would help. Buying a slave helps our reputation. How exactly do you figure? Purchase the contract, minus the fee for early emancipation, then free the Quarian and garnish wages for reimbursement. I know the migrant fleet would be grateful, and more likely to make purchases from you. Interesting. We look good for hiring a Quarian, and we can say that we freed slaves out of the goodness of our hearts. Alright, I'll run up a contract. The board might wet its pants, but we could use the good publicity. This Quarian had better be good, though. 
Corian generally, I willing to attest to that. Synthetic Insights just sent over the contract. I cannot thank you enough. I'm happy to help. Here, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get this service contract transferred. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. All right. Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Ariana's family to the terminal instead. You didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other Ilium contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and Niket are the only two I trust on this. What information do you have about the mercenaries? I've confirmed that they're Eclipse, and that they're working for an organization Ms. Lawson warned us about. I could try to alert the authorities, but so far they've done nothing illegal. You made the right decision. We'll handle this ourselves. It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? Lantea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to <laughs> safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I doubt Eclipse will send all their people just to stop you. Do you want to give Niket any backup? Niket can take care of himself. Besides, any armed backup just draws attention to him. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Let's get going. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. Because I'm the most BA person in the galaxy. Alright. Miranda and Tally. Let's go. And I don't when I play through this guy, normally, you know, it's either Tally or Miranda. Damn it! Romance when I go Eclipse mercenary gunships. So Miranda has They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. In Down in that cover behind them. Or hear Let's me out. They really do want to take us alive. Hear me out. Crash into them. They're gonna start shooting you anyway. You might as well like hold fire. Crash into I them. I said hold fire, damn it. Why we don't just crash into them? I'll never know. I got this. Since you're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. What do you mean, Niket won't be helping us? Nothing you need to worry about. Nobody's gonna get killed unless you do something stupid. You walk away now, the girl goes back to her father, and everybody's happy. Everybody but my sister. And me. Should we be talking to Captain Inyala about this? You don't want to talk to the captain. She's not as... polite as I am. <laughs> She's the best commando I've ever seen. I've seen her tear people in half with her biotics. And she's getting paid a lot to stop you. She gets in my way, she'll never have a chance to spend it. <laughs> Wait, Miranda, you said she was your twin sister. That what she told you? No, this crazy bitch kidnapped our boss's baby daughter. He's been looking for her for more than a decade. It's complicated, Shepard. We share the same DNA, just not the same birthday. You well. took a baby from the richest guy in the galaxy, lady. I don't know what your damage is, but you're not getting away with it. You're not getting Miranda's sister. If you push this, <laughs> it'll go badly for you. Very badly. 
Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want things... <laughs> No, this playthrough has made me realize I, I take a you, lot Shepard. more, a lot more renegade, um, a lot more renegade choices than, uh, or at least interrupts. Now let's finish you off. I think a lot more Renegade interrupts than I thought I would. Come on, we need to get to the camp. Nice. All right, Tally, get out of my way. Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Dang straight you do. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. Why didn't you tell me that we were saving a kid? She's not a child. She'll be 19 this year. But... Well, it didn't seem relevant at the time, I suppose. There are people who'd use her against me. I'm very protective when it comes to Oriana. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. You deserved to know. If Eclipse knows where Oriana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. I'm a bit worried by what the Merc said. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. Can you tell me anything about the cargo processing yard? We'll be moving through conveyor systems. There'll be a lot of movement. Finding targets won't be easy. We'll need to stay sharp. And these cargo transports carry hazardous materials. So watch what you shoot at. That was an implication of shoot at them. I hope your friend can be trusted. Absolutely. Niket is one of my oldest friends. I guess you could say he was my only real friend. He's the only person I didn't cut ties with when I left my father. Let's go find Niket and Oriana. Oh, that's the dialogue. Right. That's, that's fine. Oh, man. They're on the far side of the conveyor line. Time your shots. Can I take cover, please? Thank cover. you. Now 
am I missing? He's on the ground doing nothing. How the heck? I was. Now what's this? Better gel capacity. Always nice. Better nice. gel capacity. Secure terminal hack. I just didn't see it fast enough. Maybe the captain knows we're listening in, and she's feeding misinformation about Niket making a switch. Or maybe it means something else. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it! Why won't this thing go any faster? <laughs> 
What makes you so sure that Niket wouldn't turn on you? He could have turned on me when I ran away. I'm sure my father tried to buy him off. If he didn't do it then, why would he do it now? Did Niket know that you took Oriana from your father? No, he just found out about that recently. It was too personal to involve someone else. I never really thought about it, but maybe... No, he'd have to understand why I did it. He knows what I went through. You know it, Miranda. If you don't think he'd betray you, then I'm sure there's another explanation. I don't oh, know, damn it. But I guess we'll find out soon enough. And then I'll have a word with this Captain and Yala. Listen to me. I've got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Miri. This should be fun. Mm. Wow, big shotgun. Niket, you sold me out. How do you want to handle this, Miranda? Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. How did Miranda's father turn you? They told me you kidnapped your baby sister all those years ago. They said I could help get her back peacefully. No trauma to the family. I told them you'd never do that. They could go to hell. And you finally told me what you'd done. I called them back that night. Why didn't you call me, Niket? We've been through a lot. You could have at least let me explain. I deserve to know that you'd stolen your sister, Miri. I deserve to know you were with Cerberus. But I had to hear it from your father first. I knew Eclipse was willing to get their hands dirty. But kidnapping a kid? I'm not stealing her. I'm rescuing her. <laughs> Come on, Niket. Sure. Let's finish this bitch off and get out of here. Take your best shot. I was just waiting for you to finish getting dressed. Or does Cerberus really let you whore around in that outfit? Oh, all the comments about Miranda's outfit. Whether or not you agree with Miranda, Oriana has been with her family for years now. Her father can still give her a better life. You don't know what my father wants for her. I know that I've been poor, Miri. I didn't much care for it. He wants to take a girl away from the only family she's ever known. Doesn't that tell you what he really is? If you're working for Miranda's father, that means he knows about <laughs> Oriana. We need to find a new solution. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. Miranda, no. wait. You don't want to do this. You're not. This has to end here, Shepard. My father will keep trying to find Oriana. Maybe Niket can help. Talk to your father. Just say you got here first. Oh, I'll tell him that you hid her. That I don't know where she is. I never want to see you again, Niket. <laughs> Done. Now, if you don't mind, I have a shipment to deliver. You'll die for that, bitch! It'd be nice if you could do that instead of just pure warp in the game. Watch your right. That is one of the things that I do about that I miss over. Um, one is that you have utility, more abilities that they could use, more. You're fucking shy. Shot over there. You're dead. Come on, 
know there's not really anything else. I had to get over here. Oh, is it glitching because of the death of the Solarian in the door? It might be glitching because of the Solarian in the door. Yeah, they're all pointing at him, so my guess is, um, let's try that. This. Try to fix that real quick. I'll be back in a second. There could be more Eclipse Mercs near the shuttle. I want to make sure Oriana and her family get on safely. Okay, so I just had to redo that fight entirely. Uh, luckily, it was an auto save, but just let me do that real quick instead of having to really, like, do the entire fight again. So. But yeah, there, there, there. yeah, that, that's that. So we're gonna go find her sister now. I can't believe Nikhet sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. Even with all your upgrades, you're human, just like the rest of us. But I let it get personal, and I screwed up. Why didn't you let me kill him? I could have handled that. But watching him get gunned down by that Asari bitch... You still cared for him, even if he betrayed you. You're right. And my father knew it. He used that against me. It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted. But there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except Niket. Weakness on my part? You can't toss aside everything you care about just to be safe. It's okay, Shepard. My father hurt me, but he didn't break me. As much as he tried to turn me into exactly what he wanted, I'm my own person. You still have Oriana. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her, but yes, you're right. I still have something. Thank you. No sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. The game just got framey all of a second. She's safe. With her family. Come on, we should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. She doesn't need any details. But would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? I guess not. Go on. We'll wait here. Here comes one of my biggest pet peeves in the game. In fact, they don't look exactly alike. Like... That is not Miranda's face. They're supposed to be gen the genetic twins, and they do not look as like as that. That reaction of like, holy crap, there's someone that looks exactly like me would be so much more impactful right there. Instead of just kind of like, what? Who is this person? Uh, it's, you know, because if they looked exactly the same, but like, they look similar. I'll give you, give, give that to you, but like, they don't look exactly the same. Just for the Funny conversation to listen to. Anyway, um, we're gonna go drop off that tank that we found. Just get sorry, he's missing it. We're gonna go back on the ship and talk to a few more people. Let's see how they're doing. And that'll probably be the end of the episode today. How can you short sell on prefabs after these human colony attacks? 
Pardon me, I'm dealing with damn Ilium travel bureaucracy. Mm -hmm. Were you trying to get them to help you find this locket? Oh, Stephen, thank you. Thank you so much. My daughter was young when he died. This is the only memento she has of him. Please accept this. It's much less than I would have had to pay the bureaucrats to authorize a search. <laughs> You have to give the Asari credit. Ilium is a cultural marvel. Humanity can learn a lot from their ingenuity. Ilium Entertainment would like to respond to complaints about our upcoming film, Blasto the Jellyfish Stings. The Hanar Anti-Defamation Association claims that our portrayal of Blasto insults Hanar society. <laughs> Going so far as to call it exploitation. We need Ilium Entertainment. <laughs> That's a funny series of exchanges to listen to too about Blast of the Hanhar Spectre. It's a movie where you you remember that the the, the Hanhar and the jellyfish like people. It's pretty funny to listen to listen to that. Pretty funny. Alright. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Your message, thank you, Leslie. I was on I uh you made me sick. Alright, well, let's go talk to Tally again. See what Tally's up to. See if Tally has thought more about what we said last time where we talked to her. Should have. It's been a while. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Yes. I'd like that. <laughs> been thinking about the last time we talked. I'm sorry. I was unprofessional, and I wasn't thinking rationally. I was being stupid and selfish. You've never been selfish. If anything, you've spent too much time thinking <laughs> of the fleet and not enough thinking of yourself. That might be true for humans, but Quarians are different. We can't just... We have to think of other people, always. If we don't think about the needs of the whole crew, people could get hurt. Maybe even killed. You deserve to be happy with someone. I can't do that. No matter how much I... I could get sick, jeopardize the mission. And if you weren't jeopardizing anything? If it were just me? You risked your own life to save the colonists on Pharos two years ago. Nobody else could have saved them. I watched your face as Lieutenant Alenko died on Vermeer. I watched you stand strong against everything the galaxy threw at you. I've watched you for so long, and I never imagined you'd ever see past this. Are you saying you could die if we were together? It's always a risk. Maybe the reaction would be minor. Maybe it would put me down for a few weeks, or maybe it would kill me. But. That's not what I'm concerned about, Shepard. I don't want you distracted. I don't want what I want to hurt this mission. It's too important. Tally, if you're scared, I don't blame you. But I don't want anyone else. I want you. And I'll do whatever I have to to make this work. I... I, I wouldn't blame you if... but... Oh, thank <laughs> you. You don't know what that... Thank you. Give me a little time. I'll do some research, figure out how to make this work. What can you do? Can I help? There are a few ways to temporarily improve my immune system. Immuno boosters, antibiotic injections, that kind of thing. I'll spare you the details, but trust me, I've got plenty of motivation to figure something out. It can't be that uncommon for a Quarian to have a relationship with another race. Sure. But in most cases, everything is happening outside the suit. Nerve stimulation programs and such. I don't want that. If I'm going to be with you, I want it to be real. I need to feel your skin on mine. I've never shown my face to anyone. But I'm ready to show you, if I can do it without dying. Do your research quickly, Miss Vast Normandy. <laughs> Captain's orders. Oh, oh, right. Yes. 
Definitely. <laughs> Until then, I should, you know, do something. Repairs for the mission. <laughs> Just that last little awkward exchange right there makes me laugh. Here, the Rupert time. is actually cooking some good meals lately. Yeah, right. That scunner couldn't serve a good haggis if his life depended on it. But all haggis tastes like ass anyway. Aye, but in the right hands, it can taste like mighty fine ass. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, next few episodes are going to be, I mean, obviously, again, more loyalty missions. We're getting close to the end of loyalty missions, I think. Let me just do a quick check real quickly. Game status. Cycle Miranda the Loyal. We have... One, two, three, four, five loyalty missions left. So, yeah, I guess technically six, but we'll get there when we get there. So six loyalty missions left. Um, so, that's at least six episodes in and of itself. Plus, um, sorry, I'm just trying to do the math in my head of how many episodes we have left. So, at least six episodes. I mean, definitely more than six episodes because we also because we do have. Um, actually taking the collectors on, uh, finding the IFF, and then of course the, the DLC missions that come afterwards. Um, so we've got a ways to go, uh, but it's been a good playthrough, it's been fun, I, I, I love this game so much, it's 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 a great game. Um, but with that, I'm going to leave that with you, and um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know, just leave them in, leave them in the comments and I'll get to them that case um, thanks very much for coming out and i hope you all have a great day i'll talk to you later bye guys